Welcome to the Concise NetHack video about genociding in NetHack. The Concise NetHack videos show you what you need to know about specific NetHack areas without wasting your time. In this video, I'll show you how to use genocide to either kill races of monsters or to create several monsters of the same type in order to get the items or those attributes that those monsters might provide. All right, what do you need to know about genocide? Genocide in NetHack means that you destroy all members of a race or a class of races. For example, if I were to genocide floating eyes, all the existing floating eyes in the game would be killed and no floating eyes would ever respawn for the whole rest of the game. I don't recommend you genocide floating eyes because they're useful, useful for telepathy. And telepathy is an attribute, an attribute that you can lose, for example, with murder. The usual source of genocide is a scroll of genocide. Uncursed genocide lets you genocide a single monster type, like Master Mind Flayer. Just so happens that if when I find uncursed genocide, that's the first monster that I genocide, because I don't like Master Mind Flayers. A blessed scroll of genocide lets you genocide a whole class of monsters. You enter the letter that signifies the class, like Shift L, or uppercase L, to genocide liches, demo liches, master liches, and arch, arc liches. A cursed scroll of genocide can be really useful or really dangerous because instead of killing monsters, it will create between four and six of the specified monster around you. And this is called reverse genocide. Because of the vastly different way blessed, cursed, and uncursed scrolls work, I recommend that you don't read a scroll of genocide until you know it's blessed, uncursed, or cursed status. And there is one other source of genocide in the game, and that is that when you sit on a throne, one of the effects that can happen is you can uh, be allowed to genocide a monster as if you had read an uncursed scroll. All right, let me show you what I got here. I have two scrolls of genocide. I also have a blessed scroll of enchant armor, which I'll use here in a minute. I also have a potion of holy water and unholy water. I'm going to bless one of those scrolls of genocide and curse the other one to show you bless and cursed genocide. Uh, so I'm going to drop one of my scrolls, D1 shift T, and now I have dropped one uncursed scroll. I'm going to dip the other in holy water. I'll dip shift T into D. And I now have a blessed scroll of genocide. I'm going to read it. Read T. Which class of monsters do you wish to genocide? Uh, in this case, I'm at genociding a class instead of a single type of monster. Well, I'm going to genocide liches. This will give me liches, arch liches, demo liches, uh, etc. All the shift L monsters will disappear. Wiped out all liches, all demo liches, all master liches, and arc liches. I will see no more liches in the entire game. All right. Now, let's do some reverse genociding. Uh, if I show you my armor here, I've got a couple of armor items from my Ascension kit, Cloak of Protection and Speed Boots, but I'm wearing three armor items that I am i don't want to ascend with. I don't want to try to ascend with Elven uh, Mithril. I do want to ascend instead of my, with my body armor as a Dragon Scale Mail. Uh, dragon Scale Mail is the strongest body armor in net hack. A plus zero Dragon Scale Mail reduces your armor class by nine, which is great. But a plus five Dragon Scale Mail will reduce your armor class by 14, which is awesome. There are some other benefits to Dragon Scale Mail. It's very light. It's a road proof, so it won't corrode or rot. And it does not impact spell casting. So I am um, a tourist, um, and I do have some spells that I like to cast. I like to cast Identify and Remove Curse and Light and a few others, but you can see I'm wearing body armor, so I'll fail 100% of the time on those. If I were wearing scale mail, dragon scale mail, instead of an elven mithril coat, then I'd be able to cast those much uh, more uh, reliably. In addition, wearing dragon scale mail gives you an intrinsic for example, uh, blue dragons uh, are shock resistant. They, they 
shock you, but they're shock resistant. So if I were wearing a blue dragon scale mail, I would have the shock resistant intrinsic. The two most popular types of dragon scale mail in net hack are gray dragon scale mail and silver dragon scale mail. Gray scale mail gives you magic resistance. Silver dragon scale mail gives you reflection. Um, I am fortunate enough to have magic bane in this game, so that already gives me magic resistance. I don't need gray dragon scale mail. I'm going to get silver dragon scale mail, or I'll try to anyway, so I can exchange my amulet of reflection for an amulet of life saving. All right, let's reverse genocide silver dragons, shall we? So before I try and reverse genocide, I need a curse scroll of genocide. So I'm going to dip my scroll of genocide. Oh, let's go pick up the one I just dropped and dip it. I'll dip T into G. Now I have a curse scroll of genocide. Um, when I read this, I'm going to tell it to genocide or that I want to genocide silver dragons. It's going to bring in four to six silver dragons around me. Um, I have a ring of conflict. I don't want them all beating on me at the same time. So I'll put on my ring of conflict. Another option is to bring a scroll of scare monster and stand on that so they don't attack you. But dragons used their breath. They use their breath weapon. So they'd get scared. They'd walk off a few spaces and then they'd hit me with their breath weapon. And I don't want them to do that. I want them to stay by me. Um, a, now a... Another good item to have if you're reverse genociding dragons is uh, one or two wands of undead turning. A dragon has a one-third chance of dropping scales when you kill it. A revived dragon has a one in 20 chance of dropping scales, so must, a much lower chance. But if I read my curse scroll of genocide, maybe I only get four dragons and I kill them and maybe I don't get a scale mail. If I had a a uh, wand of undead turning, especially if the corpses were lined up, I could zap the wand to revive those corpses and kill them again. Maybe get a scale mail then and zap the wand again and kill them again. So you have a pretty decent chance with a wand of undead turning of getting scale mail if you don't get it with the original reverse genocide. I don't have that wand, so wish me luck. I hope to get scale mail the first time. I'm going to fight on the upstairs. So I just went downstairs here. This way I have an immediate way to get out of here if I start taking damage. I'm only experienced level 19, uh, 173 hit points. If I get six dragons beating on me, I may have to run away and heal up. All right, I'm wearing my Ring of Conflict. I'm going to read my Curse Scroll of Genocide. As you read the scroll, it disappears. What monster do you want to genocide? I believe this is the same message as for an uncursed scroll. So you can't tell from the message whether you're reading cursed or uncursed. Well, let's gen I want to reverse genocide since this was cursed. Silver dragon. I think I could say silver dragons, plural, but let's do it. And I get five silver dragons. All right. I'm wearing my ring. Check again. And... With conflict, they're going to hit me, but they're going to hit each other too. So I'm just going to start down here with the one to my lower left and start hitting him. The silver dragon bites. So they're hitting each other. I'll escape to, to uh, not read all the messages. I took no damage that round. And I am wearing speed boots, so I'm fast. I'm faster than dragons, so I should get multiple hits here. All right, they're starting to do damage on me. Uh, they didn't hit me that time. And... And I have a uh, stethoscope, so I can use that to check out how I'm doing. All right, uh, he's down to 10 hit points. I'll kill him this time. Okay, he's dead. The one right below me has taken some damage. Let's hit him a few times. Oh, they killed, they killed one there that I didn't hit at all, which is nice. That's why conflict is nice. Killed him. I haven't had to run upstairs and heal yet. And I may make it through without having to do that. Okay, he's running away. I'll hit on this one for a while. And then hopefully kill them both before I have to go heal up. Whoops. Escape. And I've killed them all. All right. Cross your fingers. Wish me luck. Let's hope that one of these dragons has left me a 
silver dragon scales that I can enchant into silver dragon scale mail. There's not a silver dragon scale there, not there. There, I got one. Silver dragon scales. Pick it up. Good. And didn't get one there. So, whoops, into a pit. So out of those six dragons, I only got one silver dragon scale, but I got a silver dragon scale. And if I had a wand of undead turning and didn't get a silver dragon scale, I could zap it to the upper left and revive these guys, or I could zap it over here and revive those guys and try and kill them again. All right, let's enchant my silver dragon scale mail. No, my silver dragon scales and a silver dragon scale mail. I need to wear those scales and take off everything else. Take off my hat, my gloves, my robe, my armor, my shoes. I'm wearing nothing. Wear my silver dragon scales. All right, fine, Sasquatch. He's hitting me when I was already weak from the dragons, but I was able to kill him. All right. Now, I have a blessed scroll of enchant armor. If I read a, an uncursed scroll of enchant armor, my silver dragon scales will turn into silver dragon scale mail like I want. But a blessed scroll will not only make them turn into silver dragon scale mail, they will also add one enchantment. So my plus zero silver dragon scales will turn into plus one silver dragon scale mail. And just to be sure, I'm going to zap identify. Okay, uncursed. Now I'm reading my blessed scroll. My silver dragon scales merge and harden, and I am wearing blessed plus one silver dragon scale mail. My armor class went from 10 to 0. If I remove, no, if I take off my scale, you see my base armor class is 10. I wear those silver dragon scales that are scale mail, and it takes me clear down to 10, which is awesome. I should be able to enchant those up to plus four or plus five and have my scale mail be even more awesome. Okay, that's all I want to cover for now. I hope you've enjoyed this concise net hack video about genociding. Thank you for watching.